That's going in my booty? Okay. <laughs> Cabooses, that's what my followers are. No. Whew. I have a story for you today. Okay, so today, yesterday, this was yesterday. The story takes place yesterday. Today I'm telling the story that happened yesterday. Two weeks ago, not yesterday or today. I was doing my business and pushed a little too hard on the potty. And there was some pain, a lot of pain. And I'm like, that ain't, that ain't right. So I finish and it's, there's just like blood everywhere. And I'm like, oh shit. Literally. And so I'm like, eh, okay, whatever. Well, two weeks go by, and every time I go to the bathroom, there's blood. Like, just, I mean, it's like a Quentin Tarantino movie in the toilet. So I'm like, okay, I need to go in. Well, I work at a clinic. So I looked at the schedules, and I'm like, there's an opening, so I called from my phone on break, and I'm like, hey, do you have anything open today? Because the pain of this tear in my booty hole was, it was keeping me awake. I wouldn't get to sleep until like 2 or 3 in the morning, and then it was just like pure exhaustion because of the pain. So... The MA comes out, the medical assistant, MA, and she's like, okay, I'm ready, blah, blah, blah. So we go in, and she's like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm like, my booty bleeding. And she's like, okay. So we're talking about my symptoms and everything and how long it's been and my pain from zero to ten and, like, whatever. So, I'm like, is the provider, the doctor, nurse practitioner, physician's assistant, provider, those are providers, is she going to have to look at my booty hole? And the MA is like, maybe, I don't know, I'm not, I don't know, probably, but with probably, there's also probably not. So I was like, oh, okay. So provider comes in. First thing she says, I'm going to have to look. Whew. So she gives me this gown. And at first I put it on like a coat because that's what it Bruh. looks like. And then I realized that that's the whole front is open my giblets, and that's not, that can't be right. So I turn it around so my booty's sticking out, like it always does. And I'm like, okay, this is good. So I knock on the door to let her know I'm done. She comes in. And she's like, okay, so what would be more comfortable for you? And I'm like, clothing? So... She's like, no, I mean, like, do you want to lay on your side or your stomach? And I'm like, my side, whatever. We'll lay on my side. So I hop up on this little thing. And I'm a, I'm a tall. Bruh. And, like, I'm a, I'm a tall. I'm a tall boy. I'm a big boy. And getting up there without exposing everything, it was just, it was ridiculous. So I get up there. I'm laying down. And she does the whole glove thing. And I'm just like, oh, God. So then she's like, I have to spread your cheeks. And I'm just like, oh, God. It's getting arrested all over again. And 
So she's like, I need you to lift up your leg. <laughs> and I'm like, great. Great. So I lift up my left leg. She spreads my cheeks. And she's like, oh, I need someone to hold the light. I'm so sorry about this. I need to call in an MA. And I'm like, mm hmm Okay. All right. <laughs> so these people, I work with these people. So she calls in an MA and it's a different one that got my symptoms. And I'm like, at least call the same girl who knows that I have a fissure on my booty. And no, different girl. Of course. So she comes in and the provider is like, I need you to hold this light while I spread the cheeks. So she's holding the light. And the provider is like, oh, I can see, does it hurt here? And then pokes the wound. And I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, it does. And she's like, yeah, I kind of figured that. No, the, the, why did you poke it? So she's like, it does look like it goes inside and outside. So we need to do a scope. And I'm like, okay, I'm getting a colonoscopy in like a week or something. No. They have it right there. So the MA goes, gets this thing, brings it back, and they're setting it up, and the MA is like, like right when she walks in, she's like, I haven't done one of these in a long time. Okay. Provider is like, oh, well, back when I did it, it was all plastic, and there the light was a separate attachment. It wasn't built in. And I'm like, first of all, you are way too young to be like, back in my day. So they're setting it all up and they're hooking things together, reading the instructions. And the provider's like, well, how do we turn the light on? And I'm laying there, booty out, legs still kind of up in the air. And I hear... What kind of air compressing bullshit you got up in this room? Provider, so I hear, psh, and the provider's like, oh, so that's the air. And I'm like, what do you mean air? What what type of air? Why, why would you need air? Y'all gonna make me fart? So she's like, no, 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 it's only in case. In case of what? You have a, a camera in the booty hole. What do you need air for unless you're trying to make me fart? No? Okay. Okay. So, she's like, okay, this is going to be whatever, and goes up in there. And apparently I have multiple all up in there. So then she's like, okay, so you need a suppository, and here's some cream to help with the pain. And I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'll pick it up at the pharmacy before I'm done with work. Whatever. And she keeps repeating suppository. And I'm like, I don't... It didn't click exactly what that was. Well. That's these things. That's that. That's that. One of these, two of these a day. Gotta go. They gotta go inside. And then she's like, oh, well, here's the cream. You see that? You see that attachment? That has to go. Bruh. I haven't used it yet. That would have been disgusting. But. Mm -hmm. I paid money. To get violated. Yesterday. And I just. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that instead of trying to type this out. It would be a fun video, so.
Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my story about my bloody booty hoe. <laughs> Hashtag bloody booty hoe. Splish splash, I'm taking a bath in my sister's bathtub because I fell on my ass. I hit my booty hoe and it broke open and now it bleeds when I try to go pooping. I went to the doctor, turns out I have fissures, so now I take baths at my sister's. Girl, that's a booty hoe.